Good day, everyone. Our group is tasked to discuss and present about the intellectual revolution that defines society, specifically in the Middle East. So before we tackle to the main topic, let me present to you the learning outcomes in this chapter. First is the definition of intellectual revolution. Second, identify their contribution to the society. Third, one of the richest intellectual revolution. And lastly, Middle East civilization. So let us first talk about the intellectual revolution. This topic has been discussed in the previous lessons, but we will just have a recap about it. The term intellectual revolution is used to refer to Greek speculation about the nature in the period before Socrates. Hence, the alternative technical terms are pre-Socratic or non-theological or the first philosophy. The philosophy that's in talk in the revolution is much more to do with what we call physic or logic. There are three characteristic features of this form of speculation. First, the word is natural, whole, that is, supernatural forces that do not make things happen. Second, there is a natural order, that is, there are laws of nature. Third, humans can discover those laws. The Arabic contribution to science is monumentally significant. Arab scientists, writing in Arabic, made strategic breakthroughs which broaden mankind's comprehension of the natural world. Cuneiform Cuneiform is the first writing system on the world. Potter's wheel, that was invented in the Mesopotamia, also the vehicular and the mill wheel. The first generous government and law codes. It's create the major changes to the countries all over the world. Arabic scientific inquiry flourished into major discoveries in the fields of mathematics, physics, astronomy, chemistry, medicine, and optics. And basically, it is the foundation of astronomy and mathematics. Middle East civilization is also invented astrolabes which are widely used in navigation and develop algebra, trigonometry, and other numeric related system. Their scholars practice both the thinking and the expansion of knowledge. Thus, the Middle East civilization is very much rich culture and tradition to scientists and technology. So basically, they have an innermost contribution to science and technology. Middle East is named for its rich soils, the fertile crescents, and is often called the cradle of civilization. So Mesopotamia, Samaria, and Babylonia were the first place where complex urban centers grew. Additionally, in the previous chapter in the history, it is being stated there that the great contribution of the Samarians and Babylonians, thus that makes the Middle East rich civilization. Islamicate scholars are the people influenced by the Islamic civilization regardless of their religious views. The scholars brought to us the mathematical terms such as algebra, azimuth, and algorithms. Additionally, there are several Arabic words that have enriched our scientific lexation. Additional terms such as alchemy, alcohol, alembic, alkali, elixir, nadir, zenith, and star names such as Betelgeuse, Aldebaran, Mizar, and Regil. Their culture flourished during the time of Abbasid Caliphate, wherein it is served as crosswords trading zones for Persia, India, Byzantine, and other legions. So who is Caliphate al-Mansur? Caliphate al-Mansur is the founder of the first capital of Abbasid, the Baghdad. Baghdad became the largest urban area in 930 AD. Caliphate al-Mansur also is a contributor of the famous city house Bayt al-Hikmah. Just a little background of the city house, it was an important scientific center during the Islamic Golden Age. Al-Rasid was the successor of al-Mansur. He carried on the tradition and supported the translation movement. So translation movement is when they send scholars all over the world and they gather knowledge from Romans, Indians, or to any other countries, and they will translate it to Arabic. Caliphate 
Al Mamun. He refound the House of Wisdom as an international center translator and researcher, which eventually the largest library, 850 AD. As a library translation institute, it is translated many important foreign works of science and philosophy into the Arabic and Persian languages, thereby enrich Arab scientists and thinkers. Here are some of the languages they encountered during the translation movement wherein they translate these languages to Arabic. First is the Greek, second Chinese, third Persia, and lastly the Syrac. After Caliphate al-Mamun, there is more collaboration through other civilizations to gain more collection of knowledge. Ibn Rashid is a 12th century Muslim polymath who made enormous contribution to both Islamic and Christian worlds. He became a passionate student of of teachings of Aristotle and began to defend Aristotelian rational, rationality in the face of Islamic conservatism. It is a translation and commentaries and Aristotle did seem to be called the commentator. The Mutazela school principle believed that rationalism could be used in order to understand both physical world and spiritual world. Mutazela school is an Islamic school of speculative theology or the first theologians of Islam. They believe that rationalism can be used to understand physical and spiritual world. The theory of natu natural law that completed the Christian theology and this time, they build infrastructure as the house of knowledge like observation, hospital, public libraries, and madrasas. Madrasas Islamic College is a college which you can use study law with natural philosophy, logic, arithmetic, astronomy, and astrology, not only faith, culture, and religion. At the golden age of Islam, it is the base of stars that concern with the link that connected the earth and the night sky and humankind. These ancient philosophers attempted to propose the heliocentrism. First is Abu Mashar. Abu Mashar studied the stars and their divination power until they became an atheist. Next is Al Razi. Al Razi is an author that influential multi -vol volume encyclopedia of all non medical knowledge at that time. He had a great influence in the Western medicine and considered as one of the greatest scientists of Middle East. Next is Al Biruni. Al Biruni is an astrological fortune telling the proper Islamic significance of astronomy was established through fixing the direction and time of daily prayers with mathematical precision. Al Khwarizmi is a Muslim mathematician and astronomer whose major works introduce Hindu Aramic numerals and the concept of algebra. He wrote Kitab or usually called Algebra. Algebra is a compilation of rules together with a demonstration for finding solutions of linear and quadratic equation by completing the square. Compendium's book on calculation in which it's a compilation and balancing an original manual of practical math introduced rational original numbers and different form of numeric system and calculations. That's all for this video. Thank you.